35 years old. That's what that nation is. Now, here's America, 226 years old. You love democracy, but there in Africa, you're trying to force these people into a system of government that you just have accepted 30 years ago, black folk got the right to vote. You're not in any moral position to tell anybody how corrupt they are. You should be quiet. I keep coming across an interesting video from Honorable Louis Farrakhan, which he tried to address an important subject in the African American community or African community. I want us to watch this video, which he decided to shut down a journalist because he thinks he's been a hypocrite concerning Africans' affair. I want us to watch this particular video. I will be back. If I went to Israel, I don't think Israel would be the best place for me to be at this time considering the view that most Jews have of Louis Farrakhan. You go to Nigeria, which is, if not the most corrupt nation in Africa, and it is, it could be the most corrupt nation in the world, Minister Farrakhan. Oh, and now, Mr. Wallace. It is the most corrupt nation that I have ever covered. I've been there 25 years ago and I've been there as recently as last year. Fine, so what? 35 years old, that's what that nation is. Now here's America, 226 years old. You love democracy? But there in Africa, you're trying to force these people into a system of government that you just have accepted 30 years ago, black folk got the right to vote. You're not in any moral position to tell anybody how corrupt they are. You should be quiet and let those of us who know our people go there and help them get out of that condition. But America should keep her mouth shut wherever there's a corrupt regime, as much hell as America has raised on the earth. No, I will not allow America or you, Mr. Wallace, to condemn them as the most corrupt nation on earth when you have spilled the blood of human beings. Has, has Nigeria dropped an atomic bomb and killed people in, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Have they killed off millions of Native Americans? How dare you put yourself in that position as a moral judge? I think you should keep quiet because with that much blood on America's hands, you have no right to speak. I will speak because I don't have that blood on my hand. Yes, there's corruption there. Yes, there's mismanagement of resources. Yes, there is abuse. There's abuse in every nation on earth, including this one. So let's not play holy to moralize on them. Let's help them. I'm not moralizing. I'm asking a question and I got an answer. Why would you put it as the most corrupt regime in the world? That doesn't make sense. Can you think me. of one more corrupt? Yeah, I'm living in one. I'm living in one. Yes, you've done a hell of a thing on this earth, so you should not be the one to talk. You should be quiet when it comes to moral condemnation. In my judgment. I didn't mean to be so fired. No, no, that's good. That's good. That's my passion. That was an interesting interview. And uh, I'm always supporting Honorable Louis Farrakhan because sometimes, you know, he spits the facts. He spits the facts because all the videos I have watched, he impressed me of his views. And he's very passionate about the well-being of the black race, especially the African-Americans and Africans. Yes, Africans are not saying uh, African nations are not corrupt. Yes, we have African countries which are corrupt. Yes, we have corrupt leaders. We have corrupt acts that goes around us. And we have a whole lot of things that happens that is really pulling us back when it comes to development. But with all that, we are not going to try to be hypocrites about how the Western countries have shown the way of being corrupt. When the Western countries want something from a nation, 
they go there, create problems, create wars, and they end up stealing their resources. We have seen some in multiple countries. We have seen some in Iraq. We have seen some in Vietnam. We have seen some in uh, Afghanistan. Currently, there is some happening in Gaza. So we understand how corrupt some of these Western countries. So if they turn around and come and accuse an African nation that has been imposed by the Western democratic route, rules which normally allow leaders to be corrupt. The Western democracy system that we are practicing here allows a leader to be corrupt because it allows a leader to buy his way into power. Leaders don't select, the nations don't select their own leaders. They select who has been presented to them. Most of the times, we only have options between two corrupt leaders. So you end up picking one. That is what, what happening in Africa. So most, most of us are advocating for different systems that will help build African continent. Because currently, the democratic rules we are practicing in Africa is not helping and it breeds corrupt officials. We don't want this Western media journalist leave all these cankers and turn around and come and call African nations corrupt. Even most of the corruptions that are happening in our backyards are being sponsored by Western organizations and Western corporation, corporations. That is the fact. A lot of corporate organizations, Western corporate organizations, are sponsoring a whole lot of massacre in Africa. We can't deny that. We know what is happening in Congo. We know what is happening in, in, in most of the African countries that are facing a, a unrest. We know exactly what is happening. So we don't want these hypocrite, hypocritical uh, opinions about African countries. Whatever we are facing now has been orchestrated by Western countries. And we know and we understand. Unless those who are still asleep, but those of us who are awake, we understand how the world operates its political systems. So I fully support what Honorable Louis Farrakhan said. He really went deep into these particular topics. We live in it and we experience it. But we don't want you to come and call us names because we know what is happening behind the scenes. Please. Go to my description box and click on the telegram link you see in the box. It will take you straight to my platform on telegram. Join us for us to discuss about the well-being of Africa. If today is also your first time coming to this channel or watching my content, don't, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime I upload any great content, you will be noticed.